Hi everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today we're taking a look at the Peak Design Capture Clip and it's for the capture system that I'm developing around my photography cameras at the moment. And uh, yeah, it's just a quick unboxing. We're gonna take it out in the field tomorrow to test it out, see what it's like. Uh, but you'll see it in this video now, but I'll test it tomorrow you get it so it's just arrived tonight i wanted to do a quick unboxing tonight so i could open it up and get it ready for the shoot tomorrow i did a video uh, last week about the new clutch strap from peak design which already has the plate on it so i've just ordered the actual clip you can buy the system where it's the clip and the plate uh, so it comes together a little bit more expensive but the clip itself uh, i've just bought that uh, and yeah so we're gonna open it up see what it's like as always if you're in a rush you can check out the chat Chapters on the bottom of this video you can skip ahead to see the bits that you want to watch and if you're new to the channel please make sure you subscribe and press the bell loads and loads of good videos coming up soon I say it every time but I'm not lying there is loads of stuff coming up soon I'm so busy anybody want to can I have a any editors out there that want to work for free no okay as always peak design excel themselves with the packaging it's actually got like a little magnet so the bit you can open to have a look at the product inside is magnetized i mean what the clutch strap had like a little velcro bit but they've upped the ante they've gone that next level of packaging they've got um it's a little bit unnecessary to be honest but they've got a, a magnet yeah so it works with all the adapter kits they sell peak design if you've got the plate they all fit this particular one for the cameras, for the lenses, for the binoculars and the GoPro action cameras. They do all kits for different things. If you wanna get one of these for yourself, I'll link in the description down below. That will be an affiliate link, so if you do buy through that link, it does give me a little bit of commission and it helps this channel grow. That's what we're doing here. We're uh, one big community helping each other. So really appreciate that. If you wanna go and grab one of these, click that link, buy through that one. It's It fits on any belt or strap up to three inches or 7.6 centimeters which is good so it's going to fit on my camera strap i think my camera bag strap or i might put it on my trousers i'm not sure yet it's rated to hold 200 plus pounds or 90 kilograms so no matter what camera you've got attached to it and it's locked as soon as you lock it it's going to hold it it's not going to fall off so you can feel relatively safe with it i should imagine unless you're carrying some kind of Aerial Alexa with a massive 600 millimeter lens on. I think you'll be all right. So we're just gonna open it up. There's a few pictures in the back there and it just looks really nice. So we're gonna open the, but I really don't wanna, let me get my knife. And there's like a little pull tab as well, which is really, really cool. Just pull the product out and it comes. Okay. Just a box. That's the product itself on the back. Ah, oh, nice. It comes, Peak Designer sending out these awesome little sort of uh, pouches. This is a really nice gray pouch with drawstrings and there's something inside. Oh, it's come with another one of their Peak Design tools, which, oh, and a sticker. We've got a sticker as well. Cool, thank you, Peak Design. Um, we've already got one of these tools because it came with the clutch strap last week, but you can never have too many tools. Chuck this in your camera bag and you know you will use it at some point. It always comes in handy, so that's awesome. Okay, so the, that's a really nice quality. What's that in? There's something else in? There's something else? What's going on here? Comes with two screws as well. I'm not entirely sure yet what they're for, but I'm sure we'll find out. <laughs> so you just have to in unscrew these bits here uh, from the back plate because you've got the cardboard in between it so we'll just unscrew these very quickly this is it this is the main plate and then the back plate and then you sort of fit them together together like that and these screws screw into there and i'll explain in a minute i'll show you tomorrow or later on in the video should i say what it looks like when it's on the camera bag but uh, first impressions are it looks very nice. It's made of a metal material. It's a nice matte black. They do it in silver as well. The locking mechanism, that is the release switch there. So when your camera's locked in there with the plate, you press this, the uh, switch there to actually release it and then you turn it to lock it when you put it back in. Um, and it is simple as that, it doesn't, it doesn't press in when you, when you turn it. So yeah, that's the release mechanism. Very nice uh, unboxing experience 
to start with. Peak Design always excel on that side. And I think when you get something packaged so well, it just gives you that air of quality and it makes you feel a bit more, um, yeah, a bit more happy with the purchase, knowing you bought something of a certain quality. Yeah, so we'll skip to the next part of the video and we'll test it out, see what it's like out and about. Right, we're out for a little wonder, just testing out the clip, and uh, it's about the, the second or third time that I've used the camera clip now, and I'm really liking it. It's really good and convenient to have the camera there ready to go, rather than in the bag. Um, I can just sort of unclip it. You twist the switch, press the, press the button. I can do it one hand as well, and then you can do the same. Getting it in, it's nice and easy. Just make sure you remember to lock the switch, twist the, li the little switch to make sure it's locked in place. It's not coming out. I've had to tighten up the two screws that attach it to the strap just once, just to make sure. Um, obviously over time, with especially with the weight, I've got the Sigma 35 millimeter on here. It's quite a big lens. It does loosen up just a tad. Um, but overall, really like it um there's one thing i will say for you to look out for um if you're using the clutch strap as well as you can see on the top here sometimes when you try to attach it into the uh the clip there this can sort of get in the way so if you're using both that's just something to look out for but overall really nice experience you can do it with one hand um but i just like to make sure it's locked up take it out click it back in make sure you hear that click when you're putting it back into the clip and uh, you know it's secure. Good quality, the actual locking mechanism works really well as well. Um, you know it's actually locked into place. It's solid metal, it's just typical Peak Design quality product. And uh, yeah, gonna, I had even used it the other day when I was out over at Brown Clee Hills on that disaster vlog with the big 7200 on there as well. So it, it held it, no problem. And uh, yeah, very happy with it. Very good photography purchase. One of the best actually. The, something that you use on a daily basis. So yeah, very happy with it. Anyway, um, back to the studio. Right then, it's been a few days since I filmed the last bit of this video. I uh, just thought I'd finish it off as I'm editing it. And I've used the clip uh, several times since finishing this video. Amazing. It's just one of those things that I didn't think I'd use, but you use every time. It's one of those just good bits of technology that you're going to use on a daily basis without really thinking about it. And that's those are the best kind of bits of tech as far as I'm concerned. Uh, tech that makes your life easier, but is just simple. So that is my overall um, conclusion. Get one if you're a photographer. Um, I think you'll you'll use it daily. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already press the bell so you don't miss any future uploads and uh, Yeah, catch you on the next video. See you soon. Bye